Hey guys, welcome back. So, I was actually debating between this and Death Road to Canada, but I don't know, I suddenly got my Don't Starve uh, mojo going. After all the Hamlet playing and also do it, keep doing the chapters here. I don't know, I feel, I'm really feeling this more, especially because it's a little bit more reliable. And not to mention, Death Road to Canada basically is just achievement, achievement hunting, which is basically randomly generated at this point, since I just need to get certain things to randomly happen. So, I figured, why not do some more Don't Starve Adventure Mode. So, here we are. We're in Chapter 4, which should be Archipelago. As we, I learned how to say it um, yesterday, or at least I'm hoping I'm saying it right if I remembered right. Arca, is it Arca or Arche? Hmm. Archipelago. Well, better than what I used to call it, which is Archipelago. <laughs> I'm pretty confident on how we we're playing, though. We got all the essentials. We just need to grab... Well, we got all the a lot of things to make our lives easier. We need to grab our essential basic materials before we can continue. I'll take the carrots. Because they last a lot longer than the berries. Or at least they seem to. I technically, I actually could be wrong on that. I'm pretty sure they last longer for sure than the berries, but the berries, I think, uh, might not only, I mean, uh, the carrots might only live like a little bit more than longer. Oh, really? You want, you want to, you want something, right? You want this. Yeah, yeah, you want this. Okay, wait for it to beeline for it. There we go. And now we got some turkey. Took me a moment to remember the gobbler is a turkey. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, in this chapter, this is a bunch of islands separated using wormholes. There's kind of a theme with all these chapters. Everything gets separated in different ways. In King of Winter, it was separated by Sanity obelisks in the game is afoot it had little corridors of different threats from tentacles tall birds and spiders oh my uh let's see in oh yeah and in uh, two worlds it was two islands separated one dangerous one one mostly easy going That's the general adventure theme. And then in Lights Out, I think we have a just a general world, only dark. It's the only one that really stands out. I shouldn't call it Lights Out. It's more like, um, it's just called Darkness. All right. I do need more twigs. Grass we're doing pretty okay on. But let's get a backpack up. If I can get a net eventually, that would be great, because then I could refill my hat. And getting a net sooner rather than later would be nice. Oop. Bad bird. I was actually expecting a gobbler to pop out, so I had held down Control F. Alright, food, 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 food. Food always goes in the backpack. It is the safest spot for it in most cases. Unless you're in a heavy, fiery death area. That's the only time I could see where you might want not want to do this. Basically, anything that you don't want possibly picked up um, from the ground, you put in there. Just in case you die. In fact, that's when I play Woody, that's definitely going to be what I, I'm going to need to be doing. Alright, I definitely want to kill some spiders. We need the webbing. Oh, well, we have some tentacles to help us with that. Alright, 
mostly I'm just gathering all the basic materials I can. I'm gonna leave these carrots here for an emergency. Just in case I run out of food. Berries, they grow back, so that's their little advantage. So those you can just pick and right ahead. Pick and go right ahead, excuse me. Hmm. Alright, I grabbed a little too extra, extra bit of grass there. I will need to get logs too, because I do want to get armor. Actually, let's go with the gold. Hey, Adventure Potato. You got notified for once? Congratulations. Things are looking up. Yep, we just started uh, Chapter 4. We're almost out of here with Wilson. I was discussing that I need to get more logs for a log suit. Hope your day is going well. I'm sure everyone's already on edge because today, as of this stream, uh, we have the Reforge to be coming out soon. As curious as I am to play it, I'm also apprehensive because I know it's going to stress me the fuck out as I play with random people or people that have never played even the Forge before. Or don't know the general strategies, or just don't want to, don't feel like listening because there's a lot of that. That's all you need to do is if you know how to listen, you're fine. But a lot of people don't want to listen. Like, no, I got it. I'm gonna do it this way, and then they complain about what happens after after they die or fail. So you know. Okay, nap time. Of course. I uh, hope to see you be see you playing uh, some some of the forge later. Hey you, come here. I got your meat. I'm also gonna grab extra grass because we're gonna need some rope. I'm sorry, what did you say? <laughs> uh, mostly me just being bitter about uh, how the forge is probably going to be. Alright, I got my armor. Hi! Come on, come over here. Right now the spiders aren't too bad. Even though there's a lot of nests here. Oh, there you go. I'm waiting till it's daytime before I go out into the swamp because nighttime swamp is very dangerous. Yes, I can do it, but it is it sucks. Oh, tentacle spike, we got a better weapon already. It's just about daytime. Alright, let's just go ahead and get rid of this. Get this extra silk, make a net, and be good. Looks like the spiders made short work of the... a lot of the tentacles here. I'm going to use the spear up before I start using my tentacle spikes here. I don't need the tentacle spots on, and all that. What chapter is this? I said it was chapter 4. Shows how much you listen, Mr. Adventure Potato. <laughs> but no, it's chapter 4. We're almost out. All right. For the, so the goal of this chapter is really more about uh, finding all the portals, so you wormholes, so you can uh, find all the things. Hi, technical. Go away.
Ugh, stupid update. Good thing every chapter is the same for everybody, except it isn't. No, I did. I actually said we're on chapter four. Actually, it's even in the title, so that's your fault. <laughs> All right, since I actually do need some twigs, I'll just be lifting these up. Ah, stupid thing. No, you stupid tentacle. You know what? Fuck that tentacle. I'm gonna kill it now. Famous last words. But no, seriously. We're gonna do this. Heal with the butterfly wing a little. Use this. We're going to also use my torch here to heal up. Well, I need to get some stones first, but I'm gonna get some ashes too. That's what pine cones are good for, is free ashes. You know, I don't, I, I don't really care about the cut reeds too much right now either. Yeah. Anyway, famous last word time. After I actually equip a tentacle spike, stop doing that. Ugh. You should have not been able to hit me. Like the plants in Hamlet. You gotta hit once and go. Except this one takes a little longer. There we go. But what map is this? Well, you can't read the title. You're on mobile. That's another problem there. And this is I. This is a uh, archipelago. The one that has a bunch of wormholes that you can. Uh, that you have to go to different areas to, in order to find stuff. So you're gonna have a, a bunch of different swamp ones. Uh, you're gonna have one with uh, forest and bees, a desert and forest, and a rocky tall bird territory. Just need your twigs, thank you, and fuck off. And I didn't get my twig, so there we go. Yeah, yeah, go screw yourself. But yeah, I don't see the issues uh, that people have when they watch my stuff on mobile, I'm afraid. Because I only watch Twitch on, for the most part, on my computer. Alright, spiders are going to be taking out that tentacle. Nope. Not interested. You gonna go down now, please? Thank you. Yoink. But yeah, so we gotta find out if there's any other wormholes on this area. Which unfortunately means we have to explore. Uh, there is one right here, so we have to take care of these spiders. Any tentacles around? Alright, well, there's one tentacle. I gotta get rid of it from the wormhole, though, too. Alright, so. Tentacle spike on, armor on, and light on. Actually, you know what? I could also use this to heal up a little. 
there any other ones around? Actually, you, I was checking the map as if you can do that. Eh, what am I doing? Just dig it up. There we go. Now, let's get rid of the one that's right here. There we go. Got rid of it. Well, if you want the mobile experience, just imagine that everything is. Hmm, no. I also don't have a smartphone. I have a tablet. Ah, I ate the fish. Alright, I don't feel like eating fish while it's nighttime, so... Especially with a full inventory like this. There we go. That makes things a little bit easier to see. Alright, so we found two wormholes so far. And when it hits daytime, that's when I'll go ahead and find more. But for now, I may as well get more logs. I do need to get... Oh, crap. I'm about to run out. Get ready. Headlamp's gonna go out. Yeah. Well, now I'm glad I didn't stick around in there. Yeah, there's no, uh... I haven't seen any fireflies at all. Which is extremely, extremely unfortunate. Oh. Well, we can heal up real quick. No, no, you're eating it. One more, and you'll be fully healed, and then you'll recover the sanity later. Fish don't last very long, so eh. They're gonna be rotten in, like, a day or two. Not even interested in you, spiders. Sorry. We're cutting through this. Yeah, this one, you have to be a little bit more thorough. Like, I could just be like, okay, there's two wormholes. That's all I have to worry about. But every now and then, there's an island with three wormholes, and it just kind of messes, messes up the rhythm here. Oh. That looks dangerous. Smells fishy. Who would live there? No. It's a plant. No. I can't see the bottom. It's a clump of reeds. It's it's pointy and slimy. Oh, I guess this thing uh tentacle spike. It comes from a spider's butt. Lovely. Alright, it doesn't look like any wormholes here. Any more wormholes, I should say. Alright. Let's start with the swampy wormhole, which totally sounds like innuendo. My apologies. Ugh. Also, I'm stealing this fish anyway. Mine. Oh, there you are. I knew you were hiding somewhere. And I'll take that. And I'll take the healing bit, too. There we go. Alley oop! All right, this is Savannah, Unana, and a metal potato thing. Hey, look, potato, it's you again. 
That joke's never going to get old. Nope, not at all. Hmm. If I had to get rid of something, it would probably be the reeds because I really don't need them at the, this time. Okay, we got the grass. I'll get extra carrots. All right, let's explore around, make sure there's no other wormholes or fun other things to be dealing with. There probably is going to be some beefalo here, so if I really need food, I could eat. Could go ahead and kill a bunch of them and eat, eat the meat. I will say, when playing, I play Wigfred for this. This will, it'll be a lot of fun, actually, because she kills so easily, and it just makes killing things rewarding. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be any more things on this island, but there still could be some wormholes. <clears throat> so first start off with the borders, then you cut across it, the blackness until you discover everything around it. Alright, so we do have some beefies. Good to know. I remember there was, when I was playing as WX, I wanted to actually like exterminate all beefalo because of how much torment they put me through in a couple of my, uh, or at least in one of my tries with him, it, them. Forgot WX is technically genderless. All right, almost made a loop, and then I could go ahead and cross through the darkness here. Maybe I'll actually find some goddamn uh, fireflies, too. Who knows? All right, so this is the way back. I think in one of my previous runs, there was a wormhole in the Savannah Island where there was, like, two wormholes next to each other. And I got lost a couple times. Or confused on which one I should go to. Doesn't look like we're going to have fireflies. God damn it. Alright. That darkness was cancelled. I mean, gone through. We got to go through this way now. Good thing is most of the savannah doesn't have outward threats besides random spiders every now and then. And the uh, beefalo aren't feeling horny, so you're good on that, too. Just cuz. May as well light some shit on fire. Actually, that's one way to really get her, uh... To get Willow's sanity up is grab a bunch of poop, light it, or any excess material... Light it up all in her inventory, and then watch the sanity go up. Because she's immune to fire in single player. I really wish they would give her that back somehow. Or, in, or at least in some fashion. The extended ch chance for being burnt is really not that f great. It also lowers her chances of weaponizing her fire, too. Because she could light a bunch of things on fire in her inventory in single player. And you and stand next to something and it will slowly burn them and kill them. And the more you put in the... In a... More active burning things that it's going on, the more damage over time it's going to be emitting. That's why it's 
better to, uh, if you're going to use fire to kill something, it's better to put a bunch of little things around something that's disabled and set off the fire. That way you can, uh, each one's going to have its own damage over time active. If you just do one big pile all together, you're just going to end up with, oh, wormhole, we got a new one. Uh, if you just do one pile, it's only going to do one set of damage over time. This is the opposite case when it comes to uh, when it comes to the gunpowder, of course, because the gunpowder you want to have it all in one stack to get the extra damage. Yeah, I've been debating on who's gonna be the next person that we play as. Um, I'm thinking Wolani actually, because we haven't played a shipwreck character since Wilbur. Uh, we also haven't played any female characters yet. Makes the most sense. Yeah, that was not a sane thing to do, but it's okay. I'll take that. And I'll eat that. Well, I can get a bunch of rocks now and uh, make some salves. I may as well do that real quick and just hold on to them for when I need them. I'm going to just drop off the excess grass for a moment. I think that's enough. And I'll drop this off. Yep. And actually one, two. Oh. I meant one, two. Make one of those, make one of those. Hmm. Yeah, if I could get a little bit, at least eight more ashes, that'll be good. Usually I find Chester in the forest uh, desert split. Ah, oh, there's another wormhole. Looks like I chose the correct path to start with. We'll probably get more stuff to be, uh... Well, more stuff to do. More things. Mm. Yep, there we go. Burn the spiders dead. All right, heading in the right direction. Hey, there's Chester. Look at that. Look at it. I do need logs too, though. Look, would you? I don't need that. Come on down, Chester. And, of course, you're going to attract spiders. Great. Was I able to kill it before more coming in? Ah, damn it. I'm going to have a never-ending chain now. I'm not interested. I have a feeling... This is not the right way, but whatever. Yeah, it's not. Well, we may as well go ahead and explore a little bit more, because, again, there could be even more wormholes still. Also, I can lose the spider that way. Alright, you can hold on to the webs for now. Oh, wait. Actually. We want to get a net. Okay, now you can hold on to them. And the 
extra equipment that I'm not using at this very moment. Actually, I'll need the shovel that we don't need at the moment. And I'll hold on to the gold, I'd rather. Oh, and you could hold on to the... No, I should hold on to the healing. Uh, the spear, I guess. Part of me is also looking for the touchstone, just in case I really need it. Oh wait, what am I doing? I could use this for an extra torch. Because I'm going to need that soon too. I mostly need the twigs. I don't know why, but I find Chester has been easier to find um, when I do these runs now. Yep, here's the other wormhole. Yeah, there's a lot of wormholes. Damn. I do kind of feel like killing spiders, though. We're going to do a mini setup here. Um, to remember, my the worm return wormhole is in that vicinity, I guess. It's surrounded by rocks. And that's surrounded by rocks. That's not helpful. You know what? Screw it. Take this and break it. Break down everything until you break your pickaxe. Okay. Let's see. Uh, do this. Well, there are spider. I mean, there is a uh, thing around here too. There also might be fireflies, hopefully. Damn. I was hoping some to be right nearby here. Yeah, I'm going to have to make another torch. First thing I can see, I'm burning. There we go. We're just going to burn everything until we find fireflies or until daytime. Because normally there are some fireflies in the forests, but I guess they don't want to be this time. Luckily, most of these are young spider hives here. We don't have to worry too much about the spider warriors. About any spider warriors, I should say. Yeah. That's a shame. Okay, so no fireflies. Great. You coming, Chester? It's looking at me. Otto von Chesterfield Esquire. So you're the one who named him. Getting pretty close. Almost there. This thing's going to... I see where it is. All right, two down. Let's 
All right, that's the way back over there, so we're just going to head over to the next one. Man, it's like a freaking annoying chain of events. Yeah, I'm good. Also, I may as well grab a few. I mean, hey, they're free. They're free-ish food here. And when I need to cook something, I'll cook these up too, and I can get some free sanity back. Okay. Alright, we're in the tall bird fort area like place. Also, free gold. Alright, so this is the end of that we get to go to. I may as well take out some of the threats here. First main threat is the bishops, of course. Got you. Your turn. Alright, run away from the bishop, because you don't want the bishop just tacking on. You want him, you want to take him out by himself. Alright, you're done. Go ahead, bishop, keep coming. Actually, can I lure you to the tall bird? Tall bird. Oh, wrong tall bird. Okay, good. Yeah, you deal with that one. I'll deal with this one. Okay, I won't. I won't have to. Go tall bird. And also, thank you, butterflies. All right, tall bird took care of that one. Thank you. Ah, one hit left. All right. Let's bring it home. All right, so we only got two so far. May as well just go ahead and drop them off. Two to go. There might be one more thing around here, but it's hard to tell because unfortunately the locator likes to likes to use it. If you use it around the the end portal here, it'll just keep dinging because it's the end portal. It tries to locate that instead, so eh, it's not gonna be as much help. But we still can look around, see if there's anything else here. For all we know, there's yet another goddamn portal. Plus, we could kill some tall birds, too, because why not? Oh, there they go. Oh, you don't want to fight anymore? Good. Wait, are you attacking... Well, it attacks something. I heard it go dunk. Wow, this place is small. Well, that's good either way. I can, uh, I got plenty of food sources here. I think this chapter is going to go by pretty damn fast. Though I still want to get a lot of fireflies. I won't need to be bringing my camo shanter in the last one because I basically won't be taking off my, won't be taking off the, uh, miner's hat when I'm in the next area. So, yeah, fireflies are going to be what I bring in the last one. It's walking cane, miner hat, fireflies, and I guess gold. Hmm. 
Hmm. This, this is starting to look like just a dead end, which is not a bad thing. Because we have two other wormholes we have not been to, so that would make sense why there's no more wormholes after this. I am a little sad that I didn't make a prototype the, um... Oh, that's what I need to do. I need to make a science machine. That's what I need to do. Or an alchemy engine. One of those things. Yeah, let's just do. go ahead and go for that. Here, you can hold on to the axe. But yeah, I need to prototype a beekeeper hat. Alright, let's see. Uh... There we go. Also, I have a fire lit. Better as well cook up. I don't know if I'm even going to use the monster meat, but whatever. Because there aren't any pigs in this. I think? No, there's going to be one pig. Literally one pig. And that's it. That's what I usually use monster meat for. You don't really even need a crock pot unless it's an emergency. It's the easiest access to healing. Crock pot foods. Alright, I do not need you. You can hold on to the extra grass and glands. Um, let's see. Anything else? There were no fireflies in this vicinity. Which sucks. A lot. There's a lot of ice. So if I really wanted to make meatballs, this would be the spot, wouldn't it? That's halfway to an alchemy engine. We just need the boards. I'll drop this off and this off for you. Grab the extra gold and a little bit of food too. Why not? Yeah, and all you need for the beekeeper hat is rope. We got the grass. And what is it called? Rope and silk. All right, anyone following us yet? Okay, yes. Is it me or Chester, of course? No, no, don't attack Chester. I could accidentally kill Chester that way. All right, your turn. Come out at me. The good thing about Tallbirds is once they fix it on a target... They won't attack anything else. That's where Chester can come in handy, but I don't want him to die. I'd rather him not. He's kind of holding a lot of my good stuff. Gotcha. I am going to eat their eggs, despite them. That's quite an egg. The nest is empty. Will it hatch? No. No, why would it hatch? We're not letting it hatch. But yeah, I'm just cutting through the darkness just to make sure there's no more wormholes. As it is, we've been kind of on a rather wild ride of just going straight into it, huh? Yep, okay, we're good. Let's head back to the wormhole. 
and get to the secondary, the other two wormholes that we have not gone to yet. And I really feel like killing one of you guys because you're going to be problematic for me. Any tall birds that are in the way of the wormhole to here are the ones that are going to die. Hopefully that's none. Good, it is. Alley -oop. All right, the one in the the wormhole in the forest is the one to the to the next unknown area. It's going to be either a second swamp or it's going to be the forest bee, bee um, biomes together. I really hope it's not the bee one though. Mostly because the wormholes could be right next to killer beehives. And that'll just be a very obnoxious. Listen out. Alright. This one does not have beehives ne right next to it, but I do have to find my way out. I don't think Chester attracts the killer beehives. Just myself. Mm. Nope. I'm going to track one of them, aren't I? No? Oh, good. This is also a good place if you want sanity, if you don't mind the killer bees too much. Uh, yeah, one of them's going to go off now. Yeah, one went off. I might just have to run this one. Chester might be screwed, though. Really? So the forest was on the other direction? Uh. Once we get to the forest, we can make the uh, alchemy engine to make my beekeeper hat to deal with these stupid things. And there's the forest. One of them's going. Both of them are going off. Okay. There might even be some tree guards already active because sometimes this turns into, like, I don't know why. Sometimes there's tree guardians already active. It's part of a set piece. We've seen that before in one of the previous worlds. They're just kind of wandering around. Alright. I'll take the axe and you can have the pickaxe. May as well keep going then. Get our logs. No. This should be plenty enough. Also, thank you. We definitely want all these fireflies. Oh, hang on. Oh, get light on. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're a spider and you go rawr.
All right, you're attacking Chester. That's a little more le that's less annoying. Oh, did I already use up my net? Okay, yes, I did. All right, I'll get more later. Chester will be fine. I gotta pick up my logs still too. Hell, I don't even know where they went, but I'm gonna wait till day. Okay, you need to die. Good. Either way, that was really good to get a get all those fireflies, because now I can actually start using my miner hat again. I could also just make a new one instead of refilling it, but, yeah, It only takes three of them, and I'd rather not use up any more grass, because I hate using grass up. By the way, my logic, there is no logic to that, really. I, I understand that. <laughs> As I toss some extra grass out. In other words, I'm lazy. Still gonna get more. Oh, there goes that. All right, I'm going to. Hmm. Okay, you are holding rocks. Good. All right. Anything else I could just kind of toss in there. Yeah, I could toss you in there, and for the moment, I guess I'll toss in. I can never decide. Well, I could equip this, and I'll toss in the fireflies, I guess. No, actually, that's a bad idea in case Chester does die. Well, for now, we're okay. Let me move that over. Okay, took that. Make our alchemy engine right here. Then we need to make rope, take the silk. Only one rope needed, so. Though it does take a lot of silk out, but we got our beekeeper hat. We could deal with the bees now. We could also make a second if I need to. I should get more logs though. At the moment, I don't care about digging up the stumps that much. Okay, literally need one more. I can't really fast chop the smaller trees very well because there's less of a hitbox on them. And also the animation, the chopping animation ends up taking over a little bit more. But okay, we got our alchemy engine. Also, may as well clear the way around it. Oh, hello. Semi-intentional, I guess. Two, it broke. Oh, geez. Oh, he got delayed. Well, either way, he's done. Yeah, if I get some shadow fuel, I'll be able to uh, make a dark sword if I really wanted to.
Anyway. And that one. Okay. But yeah, I showed that off that trick where if you, the more small stuff, small, easy chopping trees that you kill in front of a larger tree audience, the higher chance you get of finding tree guardians. Actually, Chester, you can kind of hold on to those. And I may as well grab these. I am, I was chopping around here because just in case I end up laying the, the place on fire, which is a distinct possibility because I'm known to be just putting things on fire anyway. Uh, it'll be less likely for it to catch, for the machine to catch on fire. In fact, let's dig out those stumps too, to make sure. There, we created a nice clearing for it. Just in case I need to prototype anything else on the alchemy engine. Okay, we're good. I'm going to drop off the shovel and axe here because I shouldn't need them for now. Got that. I am going to make a one more net. Because like I said, I am going to need a lot of fireflies. Walking cane, you need to stop going in there. Keep the beekeeper hat in there. All right. First things first, I'm gonna get rid of you, stupid spiders. Hey Chester, wanna get over to a section here? Oh, hey. Nope. Never mind. I don't care. Yeah, go ahead, attack Chester. We want fireflies. This is the only region I've been able to find them in this world, so worth looking around. Oh, healing. And I'll take you and you. There are a lot of fireflies in Lights Out, too, though. Usually there are, I should say. But it's good to have a supply. Take that. And this. Okay. And there's a thing right there. I was worried I was going to have to fight through the bees a lot. Alright, the last thing is going to be probably way in the beginning then. So I just got to navigate my way over there. So I think I'm going to kill some bees on the way. I have some healing at least. And butterflies. Hmm... Try to take the simplest way over. Alright, starting with you. Bee hat on, and tentacle spike on. Now, we're gonna take out your hive first. And then we can take you out. You want to fight too? Go for it. There you go. You're dead. Oh, 
I'll take that honey healing and food. I could have, I could make the um, honey poultice here, but I think healing salve is easy enough. Not to mention, honey poultice is kind of expensive and long to do. Alright, so healing is, I mean, the portal's right there. Well, I got this too, so. Alright. Hmm. I may want to make a second, you know, a second one of the bee caps, aren't, won't I? And I need two more things to do it. You know what, screw this. Hi, I don't care. I forget that's an option. Just be like, hey, fuck you, bye. All right. Eventually, we got to go back to that portal. But we have one more place to go. And that's back to the beginning. I'm actually going to drop the green cap because nah. Alright, uh, what I'm going to do is take these and burn them real quick. Get my ashes. May as well. Oh, you know what? You may as well burn too. Shouldn't. Right? Yeah. I'll take the rocks too. And ashes. Healing. Maybe I don't need that many ashes, but whatever. May as well make more healing salves. Alright, that's enough. Oh, you too. Here, you hold the ashes. If you die, it's not the end of the world. I could always make more ashes. Ugh. Yeah, I have to go through all this. Sometimes you do want the first portal you go to to be the dead end. This time, that did not happen. But we basically got this. I mean, I got plenty of fireflies now. Oh. Yeah, I could make a honey poultice now. Yeah, okay, I'll hold on to it. I literally need just two honey and I can make it. Alright, we gotta go to the first wormhole all the way over there. Yeah, yeah, we know. I'll take an extra barrier too. And a little extra sanity too while we're thinking of it. And hell, why not? Time to take the carrots. Alley oop! Yep, this is the big swamp now. Looks like I'm going the right way. Nope. There we go. It's gonna be the one with the pig house. Hmm. If I really wanted to, I could go and d destroy that uh, pig head, make a hand bat or something, but we're at a point where it doesn't matter.
Wait. Nope, fading. There it is. All right, we just got to head back to our wormhole and we're done. Not interested. No, thank you. Bye-bye. No, oh, free logs. Don't need them. And I went too far. I will take this. And now I'll go. Oh, and then this. Hey, free healing is free healing. Not to mention I could use it for sanity at the end if I don't need the healing. No. No. Bye bye. Very good. All right. Now, got to make our way over this way and then we'll be good. Now, hello, blue mushroom. Hello, extra blue mushroom. And run. Oh, no, no. Tentacles can retarget really fast, so you don't want to be running past them if they're already attacking. Hello, blue mushroom. Okay, next. We gotta go this way. Yeah, the wormholes are pecking at my insanity. Well, I guess I'm taking the green cap after all with me. The rocks, they can go in there. <laughs> oh, hey, green caps. That'll make this easier. A little. Hmm. All right, I was debating on going back for honey in um, in the bee biome area, but I'm deciding against it because it's like, I'm not even gonna make honey poultice in the dark uh, in the next stage. So you know what? We're just gonna go without it. We don't need it. It's not worth it. I am going to grab these and... Oh, because it's there. Tumbleweed. I'm never going to use any of the stuff uh, that it just dropped, really. But whatever. Let's go. I shouldn't say never, but I'm not going to. Oh, you too. All right, head to the end. We'll build up all our stats towards there and then put in our final count. I mean, I got my fire pit right here. Good. Uh, heal, really? Wow.
Is it because of my beard? Okay. And there we are. Sanity restored. Alright, those are the two things. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna lose a little sanity, but that's okay. Just burn these so I don't have to deal with them for very long. Also, I hear hounds in the distance, but that's up and running. So, gold, miner hat, and fireflies. Those are the four things I'll be bringing with me. The net can kind of go away. Torch, you, you, anything else? Uh, you know what? Eat the carrots real quick. And let's just jump in now. No, no. Goodbye, uh, Tamo Shanter. And hello, darkness. All right, guys, final chapter. But yeah, it's always usually the first one, maybe two chapters that take the longest because you're preparing, you're trying to prototype everything. After that, it's usually pretty easy. Darkness. You insolent, pitiful, insignificant ant. Do not arouse the wrath of great Maxwell, of the great Maxwell. You will regret coming any further. All right, bye-bye. Grab our basic material before these fires run out. I kind of wish I brought a net now because of all the fireflies right here. I hear a bunch of mole worms because they're the super nocturnal type. But yeah, our sanity will be going down constantly, and that's what I'm saving the beard for. If I really need to, I'll shave it. Backpack on. We got some more basic materials. That's good. Those will be for sanity. Miner hat, fishing rod, yeah. Get the twigs. Torch. Oh, we're next to the swamp, so we have, yay, fun stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. We have a reed trap right there. That's why I heard all that goddamn rumbling. Oh, my God. That would have been a sucky way to end it real quickly. Flowers are going to be our friend for sanity. Nope. Alright, we got we're good on grass. Food is also gonna be very important, so I guess I'll be taking these blue mushrooms for the healing as well. No 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 more grass, no more grass. Alright, that's the reed trap. We're not touching that. Oh, did I not pick up the, I don't think I picked up the, what is it called? The, the rod, the divining rod. There it is. Okay. Glad I did that before I went far.
Okay, yeah, that's this place. Okay. Nope, very faint. Keep moving. I'm not even close to anything. <laughs> if I could find some silk, uh, that'd be good. Oh, hey. This is kind of nice. Alright, uh, I'm going... Yeah, you go ahead and destroy the walls. I have to make a spear. Yeah, come here. I wonder how they work. Yeah. Oh boy. I'm glad I moved out of the way there. I just realized the other thing I'm going to be wanting to make. Armor. Right away. Silk and silk. Is that enough to make a net? Yes, it is. Okay, good. Very good. So we got plenty of fuel at least. And they're staying in the backpack in case I have to drop the backpack for some reason, so. Uh, I can make a meatball. That's actually not a bad idea. Hmm. does cut into my healing budget a little, but oh well. Okay. Alright, how are we this way? Faint. Alright. Take that quickly and run. Yep, yep, yep. Not having the Tama Shanter means my sanity is going to be a little bit worse. Hey, how you doing, Jacqueline? Nope, no thank you, tentacles. You're good. Keep my hand ready on the uh, log suit in case I have to take a hit. Oh, hello, Merm. No thanks. <laughs> Nope, nothing here. Also, I'll take a little extra sanity. Uh, oh, there's the tentacle. I knew there was one nearby. Okay. And run. Faint. Okay. We can just get out of here then. We just had that free crock pot, which was kind of nice. I also have a pre made crock pot if I really need to make more food. Can I grab this? I guess I can. I couldn't grab the mushroom because there was a tentacle right next to it. It's not worth taking a hit just for healing. Considering you'll be healing that hit with that, and then I'll be losing sanity. So, yeah. <laughs> Very faint. Okay. Okay, I'll take that. How about now? Very faint, but it's getting better. Oh, a mandrake. That's interesting. All right, they they they're gonna be annoying right now. Do mandrakes get targeted, even? I don't even know if they do. You know, I'll take all these. Oh, I could just attack you. Okay, good. 
It's just gonna follow me. They were a trap. Damn it. Alright, I gotta be careful to read traps that way. No. Alright, I have a moment. Refill. Very good. Alright, do a quick checkup. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I had to check everything. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's the way. Hmm. Expect hounds and... Oh, teeth trap. Tooth traps. Well, I got a companion on this journey, at least, so Mr. Mandrake. Can you examine it? Stop following me! Can you... <laughs> Mandrakes have... Roots have strange properties. Well, there goes my one and only companion. Well, it's pronouncing better. Good. Nope. Apparently not the right way. Expect tall birds here. How about now? It's the octaves going up. Octave? Octave? Whatever. One of those things. Doing better. I'm still far away, but hey. I'll take it. Oh, I do need twigs. For that. Now that I'm not in a dangerous swamp, I can actually take a moment to get more materials here. Hello, spider. I could use at least one more silk. Apparently the spiders don't come out until you step on their, well, on their nests here. That's good to know. I will eat this meatball. I don't think I'm going to need any more uh, fireflies, but it's always good to have the materials to make what you need just in case. I'm just going to go ahead and not worry about them for now. I got 20. All right, what now, Divining Rod? I'm headed in the right direction, good. Nope, not that way. Really? Is it maybe this inward here? Really? All right, that direction, fine. And that's a bad tree right there. Good. Oh, crap, I have to fight this. It's going to follow me otherwise. Come on. You didn't lay an egg. That's rude. I say as I'm killing it. Things I could be making right now. I could... I need... I do need more food. Sorry, I just had that crossing my mind here. Head in the right direction. Getting closer. I think I passed it, probably. Yeah. It's it right about here? Nope, not there. This hot and cold in the dark is not fun. Oh. 
Yep, there it is. It's the ring, isn't it? Yeah, it's the ring. All right, we got one over here. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Well, we got to keep finding our borders and knowing where to go next. All right, well, that's a dead end. Glad we figured that out. That was kind of a waste of a firefly, but whatever. All right. Um, if I had an extra monster meat, I could get those pigs out of their house real quick and uh, turn them into a were pig and then make a ham bat for their travels. I gotta find some spiders first or something. I'll take that. The flint's mostly for if I need to make more spears. Oh, rope, nice. Hey, look, magical spider. Come here. Yeah, 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 you're a spider, we know. There's the monster meat. I like how he just came out like, hey, what's going on? Oh, I'm dead. Right, I'm going to head back to the the pig houses real quick. And, um, oh, boomerang. That is actually not that useful here. <laughs> Never mind. So the way to get a pig out of here, you burn this house down. Go. Give you a bunch of those. And he's going to follow you because you have the light source. Fire, good. Oh. Eh. Forget it's not Don't Starve Together where you can sometimes get it stuck. But we got We can make a... We can make a... Uh, what do you call it now? A uh, hand bat if we really need to. I'm not really seeing the very did very much need for it just yet, but it's always good to be ready. I could also use it for a football helmet, but a eh, football helmet's not going to be as useful right now. Especially because we're going to be really relying on my miner hat here. Alright, let's see. Very faint. Okay. Well, we haven't gone this way yet. Or we tried to anyway, and nothing happened. <laughs> well, there's a lot of green mushrooms I could dig up if I need to. That's good. I'll take the twigs, thanks. Oh, hello. They kind of creep me out. Hmm. Wild pig. If I had the monster meat, I could make more. Eh. I don't really need to right now. Oh, hello, swamp suddenly. I am headed in the right direction. Yep. I checked the map because the map has slightly better visibility than, uh, well, than me with the miner hat on. Okay, good. I'm guessing it's going to be the pig house one. Nope, I went the wrong way. Nope, not that way. Yep, I'm heading the right way. Going crazy. All right. Is it here? 
Ah, I was wrong. It's this one. Okay, I need to... Oh, boy. Uh, Trap, you can kind of fuck off for a moment, and I'll take you. Uh, Mandrake. If I eat... Do I fall asleep? I forget. I have not eaten one in such a long time. But we're not going to do this in the swamp, that's for sure. That just seems like a recipe for disaster. So let's head over to our little forest here, and then we'll eat it. Yeah, we'll do it right... Right around here. Okay. Now I just I get a really upsetting cry there. Alright, fine. But it did help me up a little bit, so. Alright. Faint. I really gotta do a border patrol here. To see what's what. Because otherwise, I'm just going to be blindly wa running around. No, 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 thank you. I will take that. Emergency healing is always good, and not to mention it could be sanity, too. Don't need the extra gold at the moment. Well, I already discovered what's here. I'm just trying to make sure I know what the edges are. Knowing the edges helps a lot. I will take this, if I can. And run. Hmm... Wow, that did not trigger the spiders at all. Interesting. Keep your arm, your hand ready on the log suit in case I run into like a dead end and tentacle pops up like I was just about to. All right. So that's the border there and there is no uh Signal is very faint. Yeah, there isn't any um, immediate stuff, and I was not ready for that. There, I just saw the touchstone, and I'm like, oh, fuck yes. Hmm. All right, thinking my, over my options here. Well, first things first, sanity up. And refill, because that's getting low. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to lose some sanity to heal up. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, hammer time. I want the pigskins. And the twigs. If I end up having to respawn here, I do want to make sure I have extra light source possibilities. So then I should do... Yeah, I should make another miner hat. I'm dropping you too. And I need to do you and you. I'll take the fuller one, and you can have the one that's dying. Okay. There we go. That's actually a good idea, just in case I do die. You don't want to be st stranded in a swamp, like, with nothing. Okay, and I could also make a football helmet, but I don't think that's necessary. Um, I'll give you the crappy spear, just in case you need a weapon. And... Anything else? Uh, drop this off. What else can I? should I leave here? I'm not leaving... That. I could leave a net. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Just in case you need fuel for it. There we go. I think we're well prepared now in case I do die. 
I'm actually glad I found that, because that's actually a relief. I'll take this. What the... Oh, right. It's the forest that's just kind of, like, hanging on the edge here. You guys gonna kill it? I wouldn't mind getting some of your drops. Ow. They did kill it. I'm gonna yoink that tentacle spike and then run. Yeah, I know. I could make a hand bat if I need to, but meh. Now, while I'd rather not go insane, and it's not the worst thing in the world if I have to be insane at some point here. Uh, why am I going insane here? Uh, I want to make sure I don't have a tentacle spike break right on me. That tentacle spike's probably going to die before they do. Ah, uh, there's the tentacle. I'm hoping only one survives. There we go. I will take that and eat it. And I'll also take a little bit of the monster meat, too. Hi. I know if I get too close, you're going to tag armor up. Hi. Can I cook on this? No, I can't. Worth a shot to see. All right, I got enough for four. That's good. All right. No, it can't grab that. I can grab that and go. That's the border. Okay. Very faint. Okay. Nope. Almost got me there. Alright, so this is the border. I am thankful for all the blue mushrooms here. If I see any green mushrooms, I might need to dig them up, though. They're a better source of sanity than blue mushrooms are. Alright. So we figured out this. Oh, hello. Yeah, I ran into your shit anyway. Sorry. He'll forgive me once I run away from him. A lot far enough, anyway. I'll take this and this and run. And I'll take that and run. No, 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 no. You keep doing that for a moment, and then I'm just going to go yoink again. All right, flight source. All right. Good. One of the few th foods you can just eat raw. Yeah, the foo foo feuds. Alright, I'm gonna do this. And keep my hand ready on the log suit and go. There's the edge, go. If I do go insane, I'm gonna have to find a steady source of light. All right, another island. I'm headed in the right direction, so it's probably to the right then. Oh, cool. Take this moment to restock on my things. Because I was getting low on grass thanks to making that an extra miner hat back there. Luckily, it only takes one uh, firefly to make a miner hat and then one gold. Okay, that's about it there. At least I have a safety net with that touchstone. Oh, cool. I haven't been seen a boulder wall in a while. How bold. <laughs> I know. Alright. 
can't can't speed mine it because there's too many right next to each other. All right, hang on. All right, I got all the gold I need. I wanted to. I could drop the spear now. I wanted to get rocks too. And the gold has other plans. All right, dropping you for just a moment. Yes, yes, I see you, sanity creature. All right, and what I'm going to do is make one of you. Cook you up. Drop that for a moment. I'm going to get a little sanity back. Really? Alright, I can't get to you just yet, but I can at least stop you from being a dick. Okay, good. I want the rocks because I'm going to make uh, some... What is it called? Uh... Healing salves. Let's do that. I have to burn something, and I think that means I'm going to have to burn twigs, and I don't want to do that. The rope might work, actually. Hmm. That'll only get me one, but it's uh, something. One healing salve, anyway. I'll take you. I wish I could burn the spear, but that doesn't work. May as well get a bunch of resources. Why not? All right, we got one at least. Uh, yeah, I gotta put the miner head on now. That's the reason to even get rocks at this point. I am gonna drop the extra gold too because I really don't need it. And I'm probably going to even drop the... I might drop the pickaxe, I'm not sure. I wish gold could be used as a fuel. <laughs> but alright, we got plenty of uh, flint now. I also can get more fireflies here if I really need to, so that's nice. I'm okay at the moment. Getting close. Going crazy. Ooh. It's the pig house one. Okay, good. I'll take that. We have a, three things now. Um, pig skin. I guess the cut stones we don't really need. I got the rocks if I need to get have cut stones. I want to make sure I have room for the last one. All right, nothing nearby, so I could just kind of explore here. How about around now? Eh, it's, it went up an octave, but that's about it. Uh, it went up again. Try not to trigger any of the spiders. They're not out on default, so it's a kind of a good thing. 
Hey, Kawaii. We're in the last chapter uh, for Wilson here. I think we're pretty well prepared. I we even found a touchstone, and I set up an extra miner hat right next to the touchstone in case I do die. Ooh, I should put the pig skins in here. Uh, yeah. Anything that I, if I die, that drops should not be something that could be edible. Eh. Apparently I, I moved away from wherever the last thing is. I mean, I still also have to find the portal, too. But yeah, Lights Out isn't that bad. It, um, as long as you have, you're prepared, anyway. I also got plenty of healing with blue caps, though it means I would have to go insane. And I can make a ham bat if I really need to. I am haven't really been fighting too much, so I'm not making it until either the meat starts to rot or until a fight needs to be happen needs to be happening. And I don't need the extra gold. Avoid the traps here. Right direction. Good. I could also make a net if I need more fireflies, but we got plenty. I brought a bunch with me, and I captured a bunch as I was here. I'm kind of glad I don't have Chester at the moment, because he'd probably be triggering all these traps. Raining. Alright, not that way. Good to know. That comes from a spider spot. I didn't even mean to examine that. It just kind of happened because I was reaching for the walking cane. Right direction. Another boomerang? Really? Wow. That's the second boomerang set piece I saw in this world alone, I think. Or was that last world, too? I'm pretty sure it's this world. How about over here? Uh, apparently it was... Alright, so that means... I believe the last set piece is heading this way, around here. Which is weird because the other set piece we found was right there. Is, am I wrong? Let's see. I'm waiting for the octave to change here. Well, there it is. So this is the direction. Hmm. I have to go around to find it probably then. All right, that's okay. Well, it's worth looking into. Oh, shoot. Hello. No, 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 no. Oh, no. It's the corridor traps. Alright, what I'm going to do here is try to get the map, but I'm going to put the log suit on just in case. Because it's easy to take the wrong way. Okay, good, good. We are without our backpack for the moment, but we will get it back. Pack. Okay, sorry. May as well pick flowers. Alright. I think I'm safe enough to go through. Because I definitely need that backpack for the light. The... Yeah, I just wanted to get the map out. As long as you keep moving, you're fine. But I definitely need the fireflies for my my miner hat here. Good, good, good. All right. Now that we got the map. Okay. Uh, here we go. It's left up. 
Just don't get stuck. I have my log suit ready. You're hungry, I get it, but don't be hungry right now. Be hungry later. All right. Based on the way our our divining rod was going, it, the last thing or uh, the portal is going to be up this way. Uh, no, no. I almost set off the spiders there. We really don't want to do that if we don't have to. Oh, there's something over there. Ah, the last thing. Very good. Also, carrots, because we want food now. And grass, because grass is good too. The last play thing we need to do is uh, find the portal. Hopefully it's on this side and not having to go back through the corridor of uh, tentacles again. Don't be wrong, I have food here if I need it. Oh, we set the spiders off. Okay, come here, come here. That could have been bad. I'm still taking the grass. Okay, good. As soon as you set off um, all of them, they're going to stay out. That's the thing. And that's why I'm trying not to set them off. Signal's very faint. Well, we're going to explore around here, so I hopefully don't have to go through the tentacle corridor, so. Oh, I, I should have set them off there, actually. This is a pig village. That's kind of good. I mean, they're not going to come out unless I burn their houses, but that's still pretty good. Um... I was hoping to find, like, their gardens so I can grab all their carrots or flowers for sanity. My light's still running low again. There we go. Looks like they didn't set up that. That's sad. I was really hoping for that little extra boost of supplies. Very faint. Alright. Oh shoot. I am about to go insane. At 30 is when the shadow creatures will start to show up. And at 35 is when I can get them to stop spawning. All right, so I got that border. Also, there's plenty of fireflies. That's good. All right, I got to find a spot that doesn't have spiders in it so I could set up a place to fight these because it's coming up soon. These shadow creatures. Hmm. Because if I, I'm afraid that my, uh, if I put a campfire down, I'm going, okay, here we go. This will be a good last stand here or something. Here, make the, put the healing salve on. May as well. Um, campfire up. Armor up. And I can also take this off. Wait, what am I doing? This is the time for the hand bat. Oh, stop it. Um... Yeah, I guess I gotta keep the miner hat on. Woo! Nice try, asshole. Piece of shit. He tried very hard. Uh, keep that away from the campfire. Okay. Go ahead, just take out the campfire. It's not worth fighting that and the shadow creature at the same time. Where's the shadow creature? Did you did you run off? 
Did you get stuck behind the water? Because that does happen, I know, in Shipwrecked. Aw, oh, you attracted the spider. You stupid shadow creature. And, and or smart one. Ugh. I was going to cook up some stuff, too. All right, another one just spawned in. I just heard it. All right, come at me. You're the shadow creature. I knew it, Sarah. How are you doing? I'm near at, near at the end of adventure mode here for Don't Starve with Wilson. All right, we got you. I do need to fight another one soon. Hmm. You know what? Screw it. Use this to heal the last bit up. And I'll take the shadow field with me. You're good? I am okay. Work's been driving me crazy as usual. <laughs> Alright. Divining rod, anything? No. Don't set them off. Just run around them. I've also been writing a little bit more, which I'm happy about. I go to this subreddit uh, called Writing Prompts, and it kind of helps me out with doing something different. Right, I'm about to go insane again. Let's wait for it. Oh, right. I forgot I could do my emergency sanity idea of shaving in a moment. But I'm going. what I'm going to do is kill this... Eventual shadow creature. Okay, one spawn. And then I'll uh, shave to get the extra sanity so it won't be a while. It'll be a while before another shadow creature comes. I know good. Thank you. Yeah, I'm... It's been very nice to, to be doing. <laughs> I mean, I've only written two so far, so... One of them got really high up, though, uh, in popularity for the subreddit, so... There we go. Alright, sanity up a little. I know, some people are like, How could you shave poor Wilson's beard? That makes it... It, it was what made him so manly and whatever the hell the arguments are for. Very faint. Near green mushrooms. That would help me with my sanity, but I'd rather not use those yet. Uh... see. You know what? Screw this. We are burning this place to the ground. Burn it all. Ah, uh, I did lose a blue mushroom out of the deal, but that's okay. I'm just tired of seeing, like, barely anything, so. I do have to keep moving, though. Otherwise, I might get caught in the fire and burned to death. No, 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 no. Oh, boy. Smokey the bear would be horrified. What a waste of wood. Oh, boy. Am I... I might overheat, but that's about it. Yeah, I can't get out yet. If this is real life, I would probably be suffocating, though. Trees catch fire so fast. Yeah, in single player, they do. And don't starve together. They made it so it, it doesn't spread as fast because so um so griefers don't have as big of a chance to mess everything up. Oh, another touchstone. And another spider. Good god. Um now that the fire's cooled down, I can drop that hand bed on. I'm gonna have to kill all spiders that come at me now. You haven't played Don't Starve in a while? Gotcha. Alright, uh, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to go with the fire pit instead. And eat up. Other than Hammer Beta for a little bit, yeah. Okay. 
get a little sanity. Okay. Very faint still. Damn it. It, it does still have the scrolling uh, protections where as long as you're not exploring the, during that time, the fire won't spread off screen on you. Which is nice. I meant to use that. Still faint. I might have to go through that tentacle corridor. All we gotta do is find the final portal. Still faint, but it is. It did go up an octave. Looks like this whole section was basically useless. <laughs> I mean, the touchstone's nice, but I already got one. And he and he's hungry. I mean, I could eat a bunch of blue caps and go insane if, but keep myself sustained. Or eat monster meat. Actually, cooking the monster meat and eating it at this point would not be a bad thing. I could heal with the blue mushrooms anyway. Oh, right direction. I will have to deal with some clockworks, but it's okay. Oh, no, I don't care, spider. Go away. Eh, uh, hmm. Apparently that's not quite the right direction. Yeah, I probably have to go to the right. Big! You want some meat? You're good for sanity. For a moment. And now I can get some corrupt free meat. Thank you. Put you in there, and the meat will be good for later, at least. That's a green mushroom, okay. Uh-oh, I actually do have to go insane. Well, luckily I have the blue mushrooms, at least. Hmm. Well, the easiest way to do so... First things first. Do that. Actually, one way to do this first is campfire. We're going to cook up the monster meat and eat it. That way it doesn't hurt me as much, but I still go insane a little bit. And also get my hunger up. There we go. I think we're almost there. Uh, had to be a lot of spiders, right? That's gold. Too many spiders. Uh, I might, I might torch the place. I think I might. I was about to until that light came up. I'm gonna have to listen out for any... Oh, hounds. They're gonna set off all the, the... Yeah, they're definitely gonna set off all of these spiders. We may as well just go burn everything. Not as many trees for me to burn. Alright. Armor. This. Go. Uh, 
All right, he's dead. Burn it all if you can. Wait for it. All right. Right direction still. Eh. Hounds on day seven. How rude. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a normal possibility, but usually they wait a little longer. I'm doing this just for extra light every now and then. All right, that's the border. Okay, good. All right, here they come. At least it was only a little bit of them. Very faint. Now I'm not in, even in the right direction. Great. I still want to get all the, uh, the borders here so I know in case I need to go down a pathway or find a pathway or something. Let's see. I'm not going to be insane just yet. I have five more sanity before it does that. Uh, no. Now I'm in the right direction. Getting close. Good. So it's in this vicinity here. I gotta be careful because the clockworks will just pop out soon. Things going crazy. I hear them. We're almost there. Why so many spiders? All right. Uh, hmm. You're hungry, I know. Uh, we're gonna have to charge in after the bishop and run. I'm gonna do another one of you. And then we do... Armor. Weapon. Run. Right to the bishop. Okay, bishop down. Run. Nope. You're going to give up. Another bishop usually follows is why. Did it not? Really? Okay. I have my armor on. Okay, good. I'm in trouble. Why are you not attacking the spiders, you stupid dude? I'm gonna let you deal with the spiders. Yep, there's my shadow. I was waiting for you, dude. What took you so long? Ugh. I'm going to have to take care of those spiders, too. Very good. Run. Do this. Heal up. Doesn't matter, you're already insane. Uh, 
Alright, wait for that. And there. I'd rather have my health than sanity. Alright, got rid of that one. Yeah, you're setting off all the shadows. I mean, setting off all the spiders, you dick. Uh, and there's another one. Oh, good. The shadow creature is sh signing up his own demise here. More? You want to fight too? Sure. Oh, it sounds like they're going to take care of... The spiders are taking care of the clockwork, so the clockworks are taking care of the spiders. Either or. But that makes things my life a little bit easier, because now I can kind of rush over here. There's one more alive. I'll take this. I feel like burning these. There we go. All right. Uh, you go in. You go in. Oh, I had the torch on me still. That's okay. And you go in. And you go in. Very good. I think we got this. Uh, okay. Activate. Hang on. I need it. I need to put a torch on so I can put the miner hat in. Okay, you, you, eat the meat. Bring the healing and that. Why not? Go. And with that, the epilogue is, ahe is ahead of us. Whew. All right. All we got left is the fin ending here. course that doesn't mean our job's over checkmate am i playing robin from uh from what do you call it um from smash brothers 4 well keep going I remember the first time first time I was recording this I ended up zooming out really fast before it did the zoom in and it ended up causing uh you to ultra zoom in it was hilarious <laughs> Here's the forced zoom in It's trapped Almost looks like a new keyhole So that's where the music is coming from Wonder how they work. That doesn't look very comfortable. We're gonna free WX, and WX is gonna escape. The key looks like a fit. You can free WX78, but I doubt the captors will be pleased. Yes, we will. And poor Wilson. Yeah. Now he has to listen to the awful music, guys. <laughs> but that's just how the game works. The end. And so the cycle continues. Will Wilson P. Higsbury ever escape? Perhaps he too will tire of this wretched place and use his new powers to tempt the unsuspecting. The mysterious beings that controls this place will still lurk in the shadows, and new challenges will soon be revealed. Until then, the Don't Starve team, for science! But it's okay, guys. Wilson will be freed in another another playthrough. But right now, WX has something he has to do. Mobile tree. <laughs> 
WX, and he needs to hurry up and go to... There it is, the portal. Did I have every single thing? I'm not sure. We'll find out in a moment, but his job is to escape to a new world. And that way we can get continue on with our next character. Who I haven't really decided yet who. I was thinking Willow or Walani. Both of them are kind of similar in, a, in one way or the other. One's more sanity prone than the other, but yeah. But I did take care of these guys ahead of time. I am certain this will work. Okay, so we didn't get everything. Good to know. So that's the plan. We have to get the last things in there. Also, may as well... You may as well have a snack. Not that this will affect the next character or anything, but this will keep him healthy. Alright. I gotta get away from there. I don't have a walking cane, unfortunately, because we haven't gotten to winter at all in this mainland. But that doesn't matter. We don't need to do that. Our goal here is to just survive until we can get the hell out of here. Extremely high. Does it... Does it think it's this? Is this is what it's attracted to, maybe? That's not good, if, it, if so. Oh, and uh, switch off the miner hat. I mean, I have a secondary just in case, but still. Goats are a good source of meat. But, nah. Spoiled food is still good. Alright, WX, we just need you to... Find the last two things, it looked like. I think the metal potato thing is one of them. You can usually see an outline. Oh my god, look how huge this place is. It took us forever to find a couple things and find the portal in the uh, when we were setting up with Wilson. Unfortunately, whoever's next is also going to have to do that too. But yeah. Wilson or Willan I mean, Wolani or Willow, excuse me. I am leaning towards a Wolani, though, since we haven't had a shipwreck character in a little bit. And I also wanted to do a female character as well. I don't really need to get anything. I just need to keep myself alive for now. And find things. I'm still not sure. I think it's saying medium because we're over near the portal. So I'm not sure if I can really trust it. Yeah, I think it was just going for the portal there. So I'm just going to cross up there as a possibility. I'm glad I made the divining rod, though, ahead of time. Because we're going to need it. You don't get a divining rod when you when you come into the regular worlds. Only with uh, adventure mode will you get them. Probably nothing then. But again, just getting a, a sense of boundaries and borders here. Yep, there went the rot. There went the drumsticks, but that's not a big deal. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, I'm also wondering uh, about if the Reforged is out yet, because they said uh, around 3 p.m. Pacific, which is, I think, around now, or one more hour left. I always forget after daylight savings time. But I am looking forward to playing it. Yeah, it sucks not to have a walking cane, to be honest. After having the walking cane for so long, this is just like, uh, are we there yet? Ooh, medium. Hi. We're almost there to one of them. Three PM is six PM Eastern. Yeah, I think so too, but again, I'm not sure if daylight savings time mess with that or something. I think it's fading. Nope. We went, let's try going up. All right. Metal potato thing. Get. Also, grab the carrots. Now, only Arizona and Hawaii don't change their times. Oh, okay. At least in the continental United States. Although I don't know about Canada. Yeah, Canada's a bit of an anomaly, too. I know some participate and some don't. I think. Uh, I did read up a whole crazy thing about time zones and such. Like, there's, like, a... Some spot of the world where, like, a country refused to participate in time uh, in time adjustments. So, if there, it's possible that in one day you can go, you can essentially time travel because you'll be at one, let's say, like one p.m. Uh, going before it. When you go in, it's uh, three p.m. and then when you're leaving it, it's uh, two p.m. <laughs> you know, Travis's time change. We're not sure about British Columbia, which is where Clay is, right? I honestly don't know either. All right, we're we're well stocked on our basic materials, except logs. But I'm not too worried. I think we have one more uh, thing to be found. That said, oh, after I explore this desert, I'm gonna just return to the le the leaving portal and go from there, and just uh, drop off the metal potato thing. Because for all I know, we actually got three before. It's been a while. I don't I don't remember exactly how many we had left. I mean, I could go review it real quick, but I'd rather not. I'd rather just keep moving. I mean, this could be like the last one. I'm not. I'm not really good at that. All right, this is the dead end of it. I'm using the mouse to move because uh, my fingers are getting tired of just holding down the same buttons. <laughs> oh, whoa, wow, look at all those. Jeez. That was a lot of tumbleweeds. If I actually was staying here, that would be, oh, that would be great. Yeah, I don't have to worry about, uh... I don't have to worry about any... Dragonfly while I'm here, since that's only going to be in, uh, Don't Starve Together, at least. <laughs> Alright. Alright, if I just want to get straight back to, uh, the final portal out of here, I just gotta go up this way. If the borders will allow me. Yes, yes, we know, spiders, you exist. Congratulations. Oh, boy. 
Ow, oh, quit it. I kind of want that tentacle spike, but I'm not willing to go go for it right now. I don't know if my hunger gets reset when I change characters or not, but worth being cautious still. Is there a wormhole over there? Because that would be interestingly helpful. Because we do have a wormhole, like, right here. You know, let's just experiment. I mean, who cares at this point? alley -oop. Oh, wow! It was a shortcut. I'm glad I did that. Where did I come from? Over there? Yeah, saved me a bit of a trip. Hello, tall bird. I'm just grabbing everything, because why not? I think this was the last one. Yes, it was. This will destroy your current world, but you retain your inventory contents. Let's go. Good job, WX. And with that, we close the chapter. Cl and we close that uh, adventure mode. So, who will be our next character? Well, let's take a look, see. We've done it now with Wilson, uh, Wilbur, and WX. Did we do Villani then? Or maybe Wigfrid, or Willow, or Wendy. Hmm. Wendy would be a little tougher because she doesn't fight as hard, really, but she's not bad either. I am thinking Willani. We'll do Walani then. This means Wilson, Wilbur, and WX have all escaped now. <laughs> she was talking over him because she has the rod equipped. Yeah, shut up, Maxwell. And that's where we're going to leave it, though. Walani is our next one, and hopefully she can make it through adventure mode. I have confidence that we should be able to do it. Uh, her main advantage is really just not being bothered by water. Uh, her board is completely useless in this, though. Uh, this is not like a mod or anything. Um... And uh, she also has a little bit of a hunger issue, so that we'll have we'll have to cross when it comes to comes to it. So really, she doesn't have very much of an of a of an advantage at all because there's not that much rain in adventure mode, um, and she can't surf for sanity or anything. But she has pretty good sanity in general, so that's her only advantage. Also, I guess it looks like I do carry over similar stats from from previously, so I guess I should have ate everything before I went. Oh well. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, I will see you guys next time, either maybe tonight or tomorrow. Um, if I do tonight, I'll probably be doing the Reforged. Walani, I'm interested to see how she does. She does have less health, so. Anyway, take it easy, everybody. Bye-bye.